Question number seven, Sarah Dowry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice. What recent evidence has she received on trends in the New Zealand crime rate? The Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, several recent statistics all paint a clear picture that under the national-led government, crime in New Zealand is falling. Among the recent results were the conviction and sentencing figures released by Statistics New Zealand last year. Listen up, you might learn something. These show encouraging trends with the number of adults... When they're ready. Order. The level of interjection is unacceptably loud. I will have to look for somebody to expel from the chamber as a means of trying to get some cooperation. I hope that's not the... I appreciate the assurance from Chris Hipkins. Amy Adams, continue with the answer. These Statistics New Zealand stats show encouraging trends with the number of adults who appeared in court now down 36% since its peak in 2009-10 and the number of young people down 61% since 2007-08. Reductions are seen across all genders, ethnicities and age groups and show the real improvements in safety that this government's focus on reducing crime is producing. Entry. Order. That is the last warning I'll give to see Maroney this question time. Supplementary question, Sarah Dowie. How do these results align with the government's better service targets? The Honourable Amy Mr. Adams. Mr Speaker, our public, better public service targets track different statistics to the New Zealand stats figures, and yet they also show a consistent result of falling crime. Our latest BPS results, released in September, show that since June 2011, we have achieved a 17% reduction in total crime, a 39% reduction in youth offending, and a 10% reduction in violent offending. What this means is that fewer New Zealanders are ending up victims of crime under national. Parliamentary. Order. Supplementary question, Sarah Dowie. What gives her confidence that these figures truly represent a drop in crime rather than changes in reporting or recording practices? The Order. Honourable Amy Adams. These these positive results are confirmed by yet a third source, the New Zealand Crime and Safety Survey. This survey looks at the way people experience all crime, not just crime which is reported to the formal justice system. It shows a similar trend to other statistics, estimating a 30% drop in crime, or up to 800,000 fewer crimes each year since the survey was last undertaken in 2008. These figures once more reinforce that this government is delivering on its promise to create to safe in New Zealand. Question, Jacinda Ardern. Does she think it is acceptable that overall the crime resolution rates have declined since 2008, including sexual assault resolution rates, which have dropped from 64% in 2008? to 47% in 2014. The Honourable Amy Adams. Well, of course we would want all uh, cases to be resolved, but and as the member knows, we have made, and I have made, it a priority to ensure that the treatment of sexual assault cases and domestic violence cases is improved considerably in the court system. The fundamental and final decisions are made between the Crown Prosecution Service and the judiciary, and I'm not going to engage in settling or trying to resolve any cases. That would be constitutional quite inappropriate. Question. Order. Order. Question number eight.